This video talks about something called peak inverse voltage. Or PIV and it is a um, it is the voltage that is across a diode when the diode is reverse biased. So if our, if our diode is reverse biased with a voltage like so it's whatever this voltage is and we need to make sure that our di the diodes that we're using in a particular circuit have been rated to withstand that voltage without breaking down. Um, and so let's look at the rectifier circuits and figure out what is the peak inverse voltage going to be for each case. So to start we have the half wave rectified circuit. So I've got my primary, my secondary, my diode, my load resistor, and back to the transformer. Now when the diode is reverse biased, it's when the polarity on the secondary is this, and so um, there's no current flow so it's that full uh, V secondary that the diode has to withstand. So the secondary peak voltage. And so because the secondary voltage is like this, it's this Vs peak, the peak voltage. Okay, when it's, and actually it's this negative peak, but they're the same magnitude. Um, it's the peak voltage that that diode has to withstand. For the center tapped configuration, remember the center tapped has two diodes going to the load resistor and then back to the center tap of the transformer. So when the diode is reverse biased, the voltage is like this and so the polarity across this diode is this. Now in terms of um, in terms of a, a circuit for Kirchhoff's voltage law we've also got a drop across this diode like so and this diode is on that diode is reverse biased. So the voltage across this top diode that's reverse biased is the voltage between here and here. Um, by Kirchhoff's voltage law it's this voltage minus this voltage is equal to that voltage because the sum of the voltage drops across the loop has to has to equal um, zero. So this voltage minus that voltage so we find that the PIV for this circuit actually let me color code that in blue the peak inverse voltage for this circuit is the secondary peak voltage minus the diode drop of that diode. Okay, now let's look at the bridge rectifier circuit and do the same analysis. So the bridge rectifier circuit has four diodes in this arrangement going to a load resistor like so and then the ground is here. So let's um, let's put a secondary voltage on the secondary like so. With that polarity on the secondary these two diodes here would be on uh, and these two diodes here would be off. So looking at the peak inverse voltage, let's look at this at this diode um, at this diode here and see what the voltage across it would be. So we want the voltage from here to here 
and if I'm going to draw a, a loop to sum my voltages around, I'm going to take this loop here. Okay, that's going to be that's going to be my loop. And so what I'm going to see is that um, the voltage across this diode here is this voltage minus the drop across this diode. So again, PIV is going to be the peak secondary voltage minus the drop of one diode. So it might be a little bit counterintuitive um, because this circuit has more diodes, but it's still, when we're making that, that one path, it's still just one diode drop that um, that is subtracted from the secondary to give you the voltage across that diode. So because this diode is biased like so, this one that's on, so the voltage across this one is equal to this voltage minus that voltage. Okay?